Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at treehugger.com. They have an article, 11 Wondrous Facts About Praying Mantises. So I recently got some farmland, and one of the biggest pests on there are grasshoppers. There's not a lot of insects that will eat grasshoppers, but praying mantises are one of them. They love eating bigger bugs. They'll even attack birds and frogs and all sorts of things. So I'm not going to inundate my land with a bunch of praying mantises. And we'll go to a page that sells them in a moment. But first, let's get to the facts. They do have amazing vision. They have two big compound eyes, and then they also have three simple eyes in between them. They're incredibly agile. They have great jumping speed and great reflexes. And they make quick, swift work of their prey. Crickets, uh, grasshoppers, other large bugs, flying beetles, they love eating pests, that's for sure. They are masters of disguise. As you can see here, this prey mantis has actually disguised themselves to look just like the flower that attracts some of their favorite foods. So instead of getting food, they get eaten. Well, they only eat live food, so they won't eat any dead bugs, and of course dead bugs aren't a problem in your garden. They disrupt the food chain. So if you're going to introduce some of these praying mantises, I would also introduce a lot of birds by planting bird houses near the uh, perimeter of the gardens. And the birds will help keep the praying mantises in check. The praying mantises will also help keep some smaller birds in check so they don't start eating away your crops. I'd also get a cat to help keep some birds in check. But you want to have a balance between predators and prey. That way, you're never going to completely eliminate insects unless you grow your food inside of a warehouse with completely sterile conditions. So, number seven, they go zombie. When they eat birds, they go straight for the brains. That is kind of weird. They also have predators, uh, birds like I was saying, frogs, lizards, spiders. They do battle with bats. Bats will eat them, but... Apparently, mantises can detect the echolocation sounds and do some evasive maneuvers and fight them off with their uh, sort of pointy front arms pictured here. They used to, or people in ancient Greece and ancient Egypt, they used to think they had supernatural powers. And they engage in risky sex in the sense that the female will decapitate the male sometimes and actually eat the male to help get more nutrition for the eggs and they talk about having a three hour period of copulation three hour mating session yeah certainly very strange creatures so we have planetnatural.com i have not ordered beneficial insects from them but i may order some ladybugs some mantis eggs which are out of season mantis eggs i believe they're available in the springtime and they will start hatching about four to six weeks of warm weather and they also ladybugs are great um pirate bugs are pretty good but i'm going to get some red wigglers from here some worms because worms are great for creating vermicompost and breaking down soil so i'll link to this page and the tree hugger page in the description and if you'd like to see more news headlines like this subscribe to my channel have a great day